The Tree of Life, of course, said our hotel concierge excitedly. You must go see it. Thirty minutes later, the six of us were squeezed tight in our rental. The directions were easy, he said. Drive straight out of the capital, onto the main highway, and you'll see the signs that'll lead you directly to this majestic and mystical tree. Seemed easy enough. Two hours later, driving back and forth with the full repertoire of changing a flat tire behind us, and without reason being held for questioning at an army base, we were still at a loss. Asking people for assistance, some would answer, oh, you still need to drive further, or others, smirking, would clarify that we had passed the infamous tree many, many kilometers ago. We still couldn't find it. Another hour later, at a spot on the highway we'd passed numerous times before, we realized that there was a lone tree far off into the distance, now with a couple of cars parked beside it. So far away from the highway, access only off-road, and without any major signage to be seen, reflecting the overly hyped importance of the place. Could it be? We had finally arrived at the iconic tree. Only, totally frustrated and overwhelmingly unimpressed. You know I'm only joking, Bahrain. Your tree of life is both inspiring and beautiful. Many civilizations have created the concept of the tree of life to explain existence and its meaning for humanity. The fundamental bases for these varying concepts ranged from the mythical to the religious, some were mystical and even philosophical. For the people of ancient Egypt, Buddhism, Mandaism, and Baha'ism, the tree of life reflected the path to knowledge and enlightenment. For the Assyrian Empire, ancient Greece, ancient China, Judaism, Hinduism, and those following the Christian faith, the sacred tree symbolized the cycle of life and immortality. Early Persian civilizations believed that the sacred tree depicted the origins of all living beings on earth. Whereas for Islam, the tree represented the code of life and the pursuit of goodness. Many other cultures or peoples, like the Old Norse, Mesoamerican, Turkish, and North Americans, believed that the tree of life symbolized the connection between heaven and earth, life, and the afterlife. In whatever era or civilization, these concepts were all linked to the thoughts and beliefs at the time, and not necessarily the tangible reality these peoples lived through in relationship to a real physical tree. Don't misunderstand me, most of the peoples had a real physical manifestation of the tree of life. These physical species ranged from the ficus, baobab, to the oak, a fig tree, and many others. But were any of these trees really a tree of light, meaning that human life was reliant upon them? Some will contend that their tree was fundamental for their survival as a civilization, and hence, an applicable tree of life. But which tree has provided to its people most abundantly? Which species can truly be designated as the tree of life and deserves to be given such a title? The answer is not what you think, for this tree has never come close to being labeled a tree of life. Its extremely high level of importance for life has been vital for the people of its region for over eight millennia, with its effectiveness for human survivability receding only several decades ago. This tree is the date palm, Phoenix dactylifera, a tree that is so common and abundant in the Middle East, North Africa, and the Indian subcontinent, yet is overlooked as the ultimate candidate for the title, Tree of Life. How can this tree that gives exponentially more than it takes be ignored for so long throughout history? The date palm asks for nothing. It has existed in the harshest habitat known on Earth, asking for no assistance, neither for water nor for any care, but it gives and continuously gives on all fronts. Its benevolence has no measure, from the medicinal qualities found in its heart, pollen, and roots, to its highly nourishing dates that can sustain people across extremely lengthy and arduous journeys. Leaves and stalks used for the construction of various structures, with the same leaves interwoven in the making of household items and furniture. The deeper one looks, the more one finds in the practical uses of the date palm. But it doesn't end there. If we revert back and look through the same otherworldly lens that ancient peoples viewed the tree of life, then we'll discover how the date palm, since antiquity, has been regarded as a physical reflection of humanity. The palm's anthropomorphic attributes have been clearly documented by all those who benefit from its generosity. First, the facts. Date palms are dioecious, meaning that they are divided into female and male plants. Their lifespan, in fact, is virtually identical to that of human beings, ranging from 80 to 100 years. 
Impregnation is identical to that of humans as well, meaning a male tree must fertilize the eggs of a female tree. And finally, once impregnated, the female date palm will cease to produce any seedlings for the duration of the fruition period. The other main attribute that links date palms to humans is their real emotional range. As with other plants, a date palm feels happiness when kind words are heard and feels sorrow when hurtful words are spoken. The date palm feels fear and senses stress from those in its vicinity. The date palm loves and feels the love of others, both that of other palms and that of humans, male or female. A palm attracted to another tree will physically lean towards it, and in the opposite, when offended by another, will turn its back on the palm that has provoked it. We are blessed with a date palm. Its benefits to us in today's day and age have been whittled down substantially, but we still salivate at its sweet fruit and the endless variety it comes in. We take pride in its stature and presence around our neighborhoods. We still seek its refuge in its shadow. Even now, its blessings are many, for the young and old, be them rich or poor. And to deny the date palm its rightful title would be sacrilegious, a name it rightfully deserves, the Tree of Life.